Life's a beach, and he's the comb. Legacy Evolution Beachcomber with Paradise Parakeet. Today on Girl Reviews. Yes, the March of the Deluxe Size Minibots continues here with Beachcomber. A very, perhaps, more realistic representation of a uh, dune buggy, at least in the modern era. I, even again, the design hasn't exactly changed in the years since they made dune buggies. But this is a very, I'd have to assume, modern take on it. And, because he's a deluxe size, rubberized tires. Now, getting to the parakeet itself, it is made of the same squishy material as the tires itself, so wouldn't surprise me if they are indeed the same. You're going to want to keep track of this. For the purposes of the review, I'm using this, but you know, this will be in a bag from this, after this review is done, if only for the virtue of the fact that you will lose it. For comparisons, here is the previous Legion class. Beachcomber and the previous Legends class Beachcomber. So as you can see, there's definitely been some <laughs> upscaling over the years. No, I don't have a G1. That's on me. And one other thing that is pretty impressive about this deluxe version of Beachcomber is that he actually has a weapon that you can use. It's actually his front bumper here. You detach this. And there you go. That's pretty much it. If that excites you. Anyway, we'll get to transformation. We'll remove the gun once again. Remove the parakeet. Set it somewhere you'll find it. Unpeg and fold out the arms. Separate the legs. Come to the bottom here. Unfold these flaps. Bring the legs down. Fold them back in. Fold in the feet. Actually, this both these parts separate them for what will be the very impressive heel spur on this figure. So he will not be falling over immediately. Push down, fold down, bend the arms, reattach the parakeet here, and weapon. There we go. Beachcomber. Come In on robot mode, we do see a very impressive representation of Beachcomber, perhaps looking as best he can for a retail release. Not to knock it. And yes, you can still have the parakeet mounted on it, on him, like so. But again, keep pay attention. You might lose it. For comparisons again, here we have Legion Beachcomber. And here we have Legends Beachcomber. There, there we go. That was good. Down that up. Okay. And it's a bit like an evolutionary line chart, isn't it? As for articulation, head is on a ball joint, but it is somewhat limited due to the way of the head. Made universal joint for the shoulder, universal joint for the elbow. There is wrist rotation, but it is somewhat limited because of the design. Waist rotation, universal joint for the thigh. Mushroom peg and 90 degree bend, as well as ankle tilt. So you can get some decent articulation out of them, but for a man of peace, it's a little bit strange. Since this is a bit of a thing with all the lines, he has additional ports on the arms. Here, back of the, back of the arms right here, in the uh, back of the feet slash the seats. So you can have additional weapons on him if you so choose. But again, Beachcomber isn't really known for being a fighter. Now I realize that the deluxe versions of the Minibots may not be everyone's cup of tea. But if it is for you, he's definitely out there in one form or another. And... Uh, Definitely a competent, to, they put together figure. Although, again, you will need to watch out for the parakeet accessory and him having a weapon, while accurate in some versions, is a little odd. But if that's your thing, that's up to you. Anyway, I'm the subject. This has been Legacy Evolution Beachcomber with Paradise Parakeet. And you're gonna mind you all, free your mind, free your toys.